Hi guys, I'm Britt from Looking Her Cosplay. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my Athena Sykes wig. All materials I used are linked in the description. If you have any questions about them, feel free to leave me a comment. Alright, let's get started. Here's the wig I bought off eBay for Athena. It was about $15. You can see the bangs are kind of thin. They're very long. It's not what I needed it to be. But it was good enough for a base. So to make her ponytail, I decided that I was going to use PVC. And luckily I already had some bent PVC lying around from another prop I made. If you don't have that, you're going to want to have PVC and a heat gun, and then apply the heat until it's malleable. Bend it sharp. It doesn't need to be load-bearing because all it's going to be supporting is a little bit of hair. Once that's done, you're going to want to decide how far up you want the ponytail to go. I didn't want mine to go up that high. I know hers does in the game. I wanted it to look a little more natural, so I went with a shorter length. When I was good with my estimates, I marked them on the pipe with Sharpie, and then I cut them out with a saw. I didn't film that because it's hard to film and saw at the same time, and I didn't want to cut off my hands. Um, once it was cut out, I held it up against the wig just to make sure everything looked right. It did, so I moved on to the next step, which was adding holes in it so I could sew it to the wig. I used a smaller drill bit to add the holes. All of that needs to go through it is a needle, so I didn't want it to be crazy big or it would be kind of unstable. I added 8 holes because I thought that would be good for stability. I don't think it really matters. I would go with anything more than 4. After I drilled the holes, I decided I was going to paint it orange just in case you could see it through the wig. I know you can't, but it makes me feel better. I definitely recommend drawing paint with a hairdryer because it makes it go so much faster. So before I started, I did tease out every part of the wig just to give a little bit more volume to the back because I knew I was going to be cutting it and it's easier to tease when it's longer. Um, then I sectioned everything aside from where I was going to be stitching in the pipe, so I would have a clean space to work. So here I'm just stitching it in with a needle and thread. I used orange, it doesn't really matter, you're not going to be able to see it. I went around about three times just to make sure everything was stable. Next up, I teased out the bangs. Athena has really crazy, like, side-swooping bangs, so I teased the life out of this wig to make sure that I'd be able to get that structure. So my next steps were smoothing down the bits of hair that would actually be visible on top of the bangs, which I do just by brushing them out regularly, and then spraying them into place. It's important to keep the hairspray a fair distance away so you don't get clumps of spray in your wig, and then blow dry that to set it in place. Her side bang took a lot more work. I really needed it to stand out from the side of the wig. So I keep teasing it over and over again until I like the shape, and then I sprayed the shape before adding the smoothed out hair over the top. With something like this, it's not an exact science, so I just kept pressing the shape when it was still just teased hair and no smooth hair. I pressed it into the shape that I wanted it to be, hoped for the best, it turned out okay. With this, I kind of wrapped the bangs under, so you can't see the raw mess of hair on the inside. Now I'm working on her little side bang. This one's not too complicated, I just fluffed it out a little bit, smoothed the hair over it, hairspray repeat. So before you gather the hair in a low ponytail to cut, you're going to want to section off three pieces, two for the little chunks that hang down that cover her ears, and one for the part that's going to cover the top of the PVC pipe. Now for cutting the wig, I had already teased it at this point, so the back is much fluffier than it was, and you can't see any wefts even though I'm cutting it pretty short. Next, I cut up into the wig just to smooth out the layers, make sure everything looks even. After the wig has been cut, you pull the hair that you sectioned off in the center of the wig over the PVC pipe, and you're going to lock that in place with a ponytail. Next, you're going to tease that up so you can't really see a lot of the PVC pipe. And then you're going to set that in place with hairspray. After that, I cut the small parts that cover her ears. I teased them out a little bit first, then brushed them over just to add a little bit of volume. 
and I eyeballed this. I don't think it really matters. And I'm leaving my wig curly because I think it looks better. So exact length isn't an issue. And now for the worst part, which is the eternal endless cycle of hot gluing and hairspraying the hair into place. So I'm adding on pretty much all of the hair that I cut off earlier. I'm doing this by gluing it to the PVC pipe. I usually add a little bit of extra hair so it kind of looks like it's coming out of her head instead of just glued to a pipe. Once it's glued, I hit it with some hairspray and then dry that just to make sure everything stays in place. And this process was pretty much rinse and repeat. Um, I ran out of hot glue, so I decided to wrap everything up with a ribbon that I had and call it a day. So on the second day, I started with the bangs. I wanted to reshape them a little bit with hairspray, just to make sure that everything was the way I wanted before gluing them. I didn't have to do a lot here, it was mostly just smoothing out any stray hairs that got away during my first day. And now we're back to gluing! <laughs> I had five sticks of hot glue, I did not need that many, but it's mostly a repetitive process. You're adding the glue, adding hairspray, heating everything until it cures. I decided to use the ribbon again just to keep everything a little bit extra secure, and then brushed it out to remove any hair that wasn't properly glued in. After I was happy with the fullness of the ponytail, I wrapped an extra piece of hair around to cover the ribbon, and everything was good to go. Now I'm adding tacky glue to the bangs. My glue is dried on the top, so I have to add it to my finger. I mostly apply it to the bottom inch of hair, just to make sure that everything stays in place and nothing is going to fall out when I move. I set that with my blow dryer. It takes a bit longer to dry than the hairspray, so just be patient. I added a lot of glue to her swoop on the side. I needed it to be really, really stable. And then I wasn't happy with how the back looked, so I added in a little bit of extra hair that I had from brushing out the ponytail and just hot glued that in on the side before hairspraying it. Then I just trimmed it down and made sure it matched with the rest of the style. Then all I had to do was trim the extra hairs out to make sure everything looked neat. Finally, making her hairband. Her hairband is about 2 inches wide by 60 inches long. I made this with the tried and true method of sewing a tube of fabric, insiding it out, and then ironing it flat. I'm not sure how her actual headband works in the game. I wrapped it underneath my wig and then pulled it into a bow in front of the ponytail and then draped the back tail over it. And here it is in different lighting. And here's a quick 360. I'm really happy with how this came out. Came out a lot better than I was expecting and pretty easy considering it's a fairly big build. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will try and answer them as quickly as I can, and I'll be uploading more videos here, so if you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate it.